This is a HeadGum Podcast. Greetings, Nadpoles. It is I, the Breakfast Wizard, here to talk to you about Magic Spoon, the sacred artifact I use to cast my serial mancy spells. After years of... Oh, what's that? Ah, oh, it turns out this is an ad for Magic Spoon the Serial, not by spellcasting focus. As such, I'm going to let Caldwell take over. Ta-ta! Hey gang, Caldwell here. Sorry about that. Real quick, here is what you need to know. Birthday Cake Flavor is back. That's right, this limited edition cereal was so popular that Magic Spoon brought it back, and now you can get it for yourself. For a limited time, Magic Spoon is offering a free box of birthday cake cereal with every purchase, including subscriptions. This cereal is normally $10, so this gift with purchase is a great deal. To take advantage of this offer, head to magicspoon.com slash pawpawbday to grab a custom bundle of cereal and get a free box of birthday cake and try the magic for yourself. Remember, this exclusive offer is only available to NADPOD listeners. So go to magicspoon.com slash pawpawbday to add a free box of birthday cake to any order. Magic Spoon is so confident in their product, it is backed with a 100% happiness guarantee. So if you don't like it for any reason, they will refund your money, no questions asked. Okay, the Breakfast Wizard is still loose in my house somewhere, so I have to go. Thanks for listening, and see you next time. Greetings, goblins and ghouls. It's your dungeon master, Brian Murphy. On behalf of the party, I wanted to thank you. We are overwhelmed with the response. The fan art is so cool. Guys, in the future, use hashtag NADPOD. That's N-A-D-D-P-O-D so we can have it all in one place. And everybody check out our subreddit, R, not another D&D podcast. That's D, the letter N, D, podcast. As of right this moment, we already have 225 reviews, which is a great start. So tell you what, if you guys can get us up to 400 reviews, we'll release a bonus episode where we will answer your questions about backstory or the characters or the adventure so far or D&D in general, whatever you want. Additionally, we're going to start doing shout outs for the people who give us five star reviews, and that'll start next week. At the end of the episode, the party will do shout outs for all our new five star reviews in character. So be sure to include which character you want to receive your shout out from great now let me give you guys a quick recap of what happened last week in future episodes i'll do recaps with the whole crew so that they can comment but we didn't do that this session so i'll do it real quick here hard one beverly and moonshine showed up to the fishing village of moonstone and met at the hungry trout tavern they were alerted by beverly scoutmaster denny that his troop the green teens were captured by bullywugs and dragged into a nearby swamp but before they could go off to save them they got into a bar fight with some barbarians who have been wreaking havoc on the town the party bravely decapitated the brutes then were aided by mishka the half-orc bartender in hiding the bodies and that's where we find ourselves now Welcome to the campaign after the campaign. This is not another D&D podcast. Welcome back to the realm of Bohemia. I'm your dungeon master, Brian Murphy, joined by Jake Hurwitz, Caldwell Tanner, and Emily Axford. Who's Emily Axford? I'm Moonshine Sabin. Ooh. And I'm Hardwood Surefoot. Hello, sirs and ma'ams. It's me, Beverly. <laughs> Ever proper. <laughs> Beverly beheaded someone last week. <laughs> yeah. In self-defense. Um, <laughs> If I may, I believe we all took a chance at beheading someone. Everyone does have one beheading under their belt, was uh, except my... for Hard One who has Hard, two. Hard One has two. Yeah. Moonshine, Moonshine's was already dead, so the <laughs> right. Uh, you know, my second beheading was more of an execution. <laughs> yes, Beverly did aid in an execution. <laughs> I politely requested that he not execute the man. I had already gotten my required beheading for my self-defense uh, merit patch, but my scoutmaster knows best. And proceeded. <laughs> he calls me the scoutmaster. <laughs> yeah, scoutmaster Denny made you a uh, temporary scoutmaster. Yeah, master. we're both. Remember, I hopped yes. a loogie and slapped my. Uh, I'm gonna so add that to my list lucky. of like, pride of the mountain scoutmaster. <laughs> yeah. Before I had but one scoutmaster. Now I have three. Oh, lucky day. <laughs> okay, yeah. so you guys beheaded these barbarians that you got into a bar fight with. Oh, oh correct. barbarian bar fight. That's what after it comes after from. killing them outside. After killing two of them outside yes, of the tavern. I think that's where the word barbarian comes from. It's actually <laughs> bar fight. Bar fight. Bar, yeah. <laughs> it, it's it's short for bar fightarian. Bar fight. <laughs> bar fightarian. Perfect. <laughs> these bears in a bar. <laughs> so you guys killed these barbarians that were trying that were fleeing. <laughs> you executed. You. 
executed fleeing men. I feel like I should. I feel like I should point something out about Moonshine Saiban, which is that when she is in symbiotic entity mode, she has a savageness and she loses all of her crick hospitality. How? Sort of a crud lust. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> but it, yes. that's nice. That's very yeah, good. Like you that. like it? A, or sludge also, lust. Oh, about, like, sludge lust. She gets a sludge your lust. Your hospitality sort of like took a new shape too. Like you, you had to be hospitable to Beverly and me and like all of your new friends. Yeah. Like, these people are trying to kill us. Yeah. The most polite thing that you could do is kill them first. Yeah. I turn into like a sort of like a, a spore. I have a spore mentality and you guys are part of my fungal network. Right. So, yeah. So then I'm defending the fungal network. So that's you, your maternal instinct kicking in that you probably hate. You've infected us with your spores. Yes. But just like at a, at a surface level so you know where we are and you can track us but you haven't infected us properly. Oh, DM, can I um can I secretly um, put some spores on all oh, of them so God. I can always Give track us- them? Them? Sleight of hand not, check, I guess. Not a secret now, I suppose. <laughs> or a, a stealth check? What do you got there? But, I, but I'm asking you before I do that, if I secretly put some spores on them, could I track, could I have like advantage on tracking them in the future? Uh, perhaps. If we we'll go see. Rogue. We'll, we'll, depending on the situation. Yeah. We have to be okay. careful how we brand this thing because if you think about it, we just killed a bunch of people that asked us to buy them a drink and that's <laughs> yes. summarily executed guy <laughs> fleeing. Yeah, so here's where we're at right now. There's some beheaded barbarians that Mishka, the half-orc bartender, and some of the fishermen that were also in the bar kind of helped you pull inside. They helped clean up the tavern. They're clearly uh, tired of being pushed around by these barbarians as well, so they help you clean up after your murder. So you guys are standing in this now cleaned up tavern. Mishka's just closed the door. It's you guys, the the three fishermen and the old bard who was there and uh mishka you know she's got these scars all down the left side of uh, her face mm-hmm. uh she's she's all burned up uh real quick i'd like to say um hey mishka uh real quick i just kind of wanted to know who these people are so i just hold up their heads <laughs> one by one and ask their names <laughs> She looks at the head of the main dude, the bigger guy who who gave you guys some problems, and she says, that one's name is Kruk. Kruk. His name was Kruk. 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 Okay. He doesn't have a use for names anymore, I guess. Is that with a U? Well, you know, death is kind of cycle of life, so he'll he'll be back in mm-hmm. his own way. It's Maybe one... as a tree. Aw, yeah. Or a giant mushroom. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you see she walks over and she pulls open his mouth uh, and she shows you guys that he's lost a bunch of his teeth and she does the same with the other two barbarians and she says... That's they're, nothing. They're called the Crack Tooth Clan. Ooh. Uh, ah. They've, they've scared off the citizen militia and the barbarians pretty much run the town now. Well, we just killed their leader, right? Was it their leader? Was this their leader? Was Crack the leader? Kruk is not the leader. Shit. (laughs) He was pretty powerful. Yeah, it was hard to kill. The leader is uh, one they call Goresh. He is living in the mayor's old house. They ran the the mayor out of town. Is that with a G? I don't... They didn't spell it for me. (laughs) Okay, I'll just guess. I'll just do my best. Oh, wow. Look at that script. He's writing in calligraphy. Who are you you afraid of? Is it the the Bollywogs? (laughs) I am not. A, I'm not afraid of the Bollywogs. And you see, the old bard comes up and goes, M- "Mishka here f- fought a dragon." Oh, what? Whoa. Oh, is that, the... is that where the scar came from? I didn't know. I definitely the scar. thought it was a cooking I accident. <laughs> I can't see it. I. I assume maybe you flipped a fish too <laughs> energetic. She has like one blind, completely white, milky eye. <laughs> hard one like is pretending not to look at it. Oh, I see something. Maybe small. I don't know. <laughs> um, and she goes, yes, it is true. Before the heroes came, a band of us here from the village tried to face the dragon. And I was the only one who survived. Um, Beverly thinks about asking about dragon genitals, but says nothing. <laughs> 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 he, he, as you start to pipe up. Uh, he blushes scout, slightly. He, Scoutmaster Denny's just like, oh, hold on there now. Uh, but <laughs> I pull out my book about dragon <laughs> and Adam. <laughs> You're starting to like point to the dick <laughs> and a- ask about it. <laughs> slowly pushes the book down. Um, <laughs> Well, uh, I mean, I'd say Mishka. I heard you get that some bullywogs took up these, uh, took up some scout youngins, and we're probably gonna go save them because bullywogs. I mean, we got bullywogs down by the creek. They come yeah. up about knee high. As a green teen, I am I am loyal to my fellow green teens, and I must rescue them. It um, is my sacred charge, as provided by my three scout masters. 
Yeah, this guy gave me a bunch of gold, so I was gonna, I was gonna go too. And I got a green uh, team he, gift uh, bag. Fine, scoutmaster, indeed you are, Mister <laughs> Hard One. Thank you. I'm uh, proud you to see, serve under your under your allegiance. You see, Mishka turns to Scout Master Denny in disgust. <laughs> uh, she goes, "You should have never brought them out onto the bay. That's where they but are. But that's where the Moonstone is. They shouldn't have gone out there with this little coward. But that's where you see Scout Master Denny just says, "To be honest, she's correct. We should not have gone out. But this is where I definitely just swam back as soon as I saw them. Yo, Moonshine. You raise your finger like I object to be called called a coward. Uh, but this is where the Jamboree is. You surely you heard about it. There's a lot of flyers up. The Jamboree was canceled. People keep saying that, and I guess I am having trouble accepting it, but. Well, if the jam, maybe if we can get the scouts back from uh, the clutches of these uh, nasty bullywogs, uh, the jamboree could be back on because I'm sure it would be a great source of uh, economic growth for the town. You know, I've got a washboard and two pieces of leaves. I can put on a one-woman show for that jamboree. Per- per- perhaps uh, you-, you should help these uh, the-, the the green teens before they, uh, they they're ritualistically sacrificed. <laughs> oh yeah, he mentioned that. Let's we should go do now, that. Now I love a ritual, but sacrifice is no good. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go, gang. Um, are we gonna need a boat for this, or can we kind kind of just wade? You can take one of the boats down at the dock. That's probably the fastest way around. Or you can walk north around the bay and get to the swamp. Boat. We got to go boat, right? Yeah, definitely boat. I do have my boat, Merit Patch, so I would happily steer the boat for you. Now, does Uh, that mean you've been in a boat or you've seen a boat? I have read a book. I've read three books about boats. Don't worry. So to be clear, he hasn't even seen a boat. (laughs) (laughs) Because you got your Bollywog patch because you dissected a ball, not because you fought one or have seen one. I stared intently at one. Yes, this is true. Um, And you've also stared intently at a blueprint. Galateron is landlocked. Right. It's easy. I'll just put I'll just put Papa out the back of the boat, and he can kind of kick and just like be like a little engine to move us along, propel I, us along. I was raised inside a mountain, so that sounds fine to me. <laughs> <laughs> if that's what a boat is, let's do it. <laughs> I'm just so excited to see a boat. Sounds good. Mishka just shakes her head and she says, "You might want to stop by the temple." and talk to one of the druids before you go. They might be able to help you, heal you up, maybe give you something for your journey. Okay. Let's, yeah, let's go see that guy. I have a super deep axe wound in my shoulder. You are bleeding quite a lot. Yeah. Yes, also, you're very hurt. as a druid, would love to hang out with a couple other druids, maybe swap stories, runes, whatnot. Yeah. As an Spores. aspiring green knight, Spores. I'm always happy to learn from a druid. Just so you know, she's going to be so angry that you're here because... <laughs> She already told this one, and she points to Scoutmaster Denny that the jamboree was canceled <laughs> and that he shouldn't go out on the bay. But then he went out on the bay, and now a bunch of kids are missing. Cool. And Scoutmaster Denny goes like, yeah, that's, that's right. <laughs> and raising his one second, what? <laughs> that is true. <laughs> I'm so excited for my first mission to save the jamboree. <laughs> uh, so Scoutmaster Denny goes, I, 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 can, sh- I can show you the, the, the way to the temple uh, if you guys want. Yes, sir. Yeah, okay. that'd be great. Mishka uh, looks at you guys as, as she like opens the door to lets you, let you out. And she says, the barbarians uh, probably won't notice that Kruk is gone for the night. He's a, a drunken idiot. It's not unheard of that he would drunk and idiot. get so drunk. not their most powerful no not leader. even close okay. Huh. okay even though he so, was like real powerful though that guy was so like these close. men that you killed mm. they might not notice them missing for 12 16 18 hours a day the wow. green but they will handbook. notice eventually uh, the green, and they will come asking the green team handbook likes to use the term mortally corrected not killed just please if you don't mind she, you see, she just turns from Beverly and just turns right to Hard One, <laughs> completely ignoring him. <laughs> Hard One nods. That makes sense. Okay. <laughs> it will nod. Uh, and then Scoutmaster Denny uh, just goes like, All right, uh, campers of the light, uh, let's go. Hooray. <laughs> <laughs> uh, only All right, Beverly I don't is know about it. this guy. <laughs> <laughs> only I'll, Beverly is I'll take the rear. He's, 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 
Scoutmaster <laughs> Jenny and Beverly start like marching they link off. Arms. <laughs> they link arms and start walking off. And uh, Hard One and Moonshot are just so disgusting. I, I think we start uh, marching off, and then I like turn back around and I'm like, "Come on, come on!" I put I put Papa on his le- on his leash. Good, I good, say, good. I'm sorry, Papa, but things <laughs> gotten dangerous. You need to get hitched. Papa's <laughs> just like scrambling, foaming, so, foaming at nice... the mouth, trying to just running the full length. He's going crazier now that he's on a leash. He's running like the full length of his leash and just yanking at it. <laughs> yeah, it's like a viney straight jacket that I strap. So him into. we're going to uh, a temple so or. Just, uh, yes, it's a temple to Melora. Oh, oh this is good. I, I was actually uh, preparing some things to teach you, but I never had a chance because <gasps> the green teens disappeared. I pull out my notebook. <laughs> <laughs> of course. <laughs> hard one just rubs his forehead so hard. <laughs> just can't believe. This is, you know, you could have sided with the barbarians, but you made your bed. This is my crew. And now you gotta lay, <laughs> now you gotta lay in it. Uh, so Scoutmaster Jenny but, uh, was like, but remember, I'm hot. Yeah, yeah. I'm attractive. <laughs> That's what I keep on reminding us. <laughs> Reminder. She's covered in mushrooms, but she might take a the shower at some <laughs> point. She might take a shower and the spores <laughs> might come off. I don't know. So uh, Scoutmaster Denny says, uh, now the, the, the druids here, the, the town is run by a druid circle and a town council. Uh, that is uh, the mayor and a, a, a group of people within the town who help make decisions. Now, as we know, the mayor was run out of town by the barbarians, but, but, but there's still a druid circle. Now, uh, the mother thistle is at the head of the druid circle, but I did not get to talk to her because when I went to the temple, uh, uh, Shay, who is part of the druid circle, told me to leave and said that the jamboree was canceled. So n- n- now we're going to go back to that temple. And then they also told you not to go out onto the bay. And they told the me. <laughs> that is yes, yeah, okay. yes. They told me not to do okay. that. Um, Why did the bollywog spare you? Oh, I, I I ran. I ran as soon as I saw them. I was I just jumped on my own boat and I, I left the teens. I left those teens by themselves. You are a mm. craven man. I, I gotta be, yeah. I gotta be honest. I, I don't think I treat the youngins that way. I don't. I I'm more of a I tour wouldn't... guy than a paladin, really. <laughs> it's true that a green teen is taught never to run, even especially when his friends are being left behind. Uh, you know what? Uh, uh, and that's just why you're gonna make a great uh, junior green guy. Ah, when you were testing you me. Wait, I'm testing you. No, oh god! Uh, these you're... are your new scout masters. They're the ones that are gonna take <laughs> just you. Just so out you know, we swamp. weren't part of this. Uh, so we're gonna take. Yeah, you, I'm gonna I don't take know you about this guy. to a temple of Melora. Now Melora hey, is maybe, the god uh, of nature. Yes. Maybe when you uh, drop us off, you I don't know, go get a drink and go to bed. <laughs> Uh, are you sure? Okay, well, I, I think they might not want to see your face. <laughs> yeah, okay. I'm thinking that you might uh, make us look worse if you come with uh, us. Y- you see, he holds up his finger. That is that is absolutely right. <laughs> yeah, okay. The, the, the lady druid Che t- t- said that uh, she did not like me and that I was a coward <laughs> and, and to not take those teens anywhere near the bay. And what did I do? I took him near the bay. And then you okay. ran away when the ball... And yeah. then I, I did run away. And you ditched him. Okay. But yes. Oh, yeah. Okay, real quick. Mm-hmm. I take out a straw hat and I say, just put this on and sort of like pull it over your eyes so no one recognizes yes. you. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> and you see Scoutmaster Danny uh, puts the straw hat <laughs> over his face and he starts uh, leading you guys down to the temple. Uh, so you guys- as we're walking, I whisper to him, I forgive you. <laughs> Thank you so much, because I don't forgive myself. Uh-huh. You shouldn't. That's <laughs> dark. Um, so he takes you guys to this round stone structure that's kind of like a dome, mm-hmm. and it's completely covered in moss and flowers, and you see a little hut next to it, which you can assume is probably Thistle's like original hut, and now there's a temple next ah. to it. I, uh, I pluck a little bit of moss and eat it. It it tastes like grass. <laughs> it tastes actually, like dirt. And actually, grass. I just I just chew on it. Sure, you just start <laughs> chewing. Um, I I I would like to. Scoutmaster Denny turns to you and just goes like, oh, "Please don't do that in the swamp. <laughs> just eating anything." Do I know anything about like the history of this as a green teen? You would know that this was a temple to Melora, who uh-huh. is the nature god, sort of the neutral god, who, you know, was kind of just like, come what may, there are, right. you know, predators and there are prey. Oh, nature just, is chaos, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Exactly. So it's, it's kind of neither good nor bad, just right. more like of the land. What about... Um, and um, you know that uh, there is also a little... 
a little structure that is for Pelor, which is your god, the Aww. god of farming and agriculture nice. and delight. Nice of him to, yeah, nice of him to have, acknowledge. So that's in the back. Who, yeah. I have a god? question. Oh, go ahead. I have a question. How much would I know? Would I know, as like a druid, a crick elf druid, would I know Melora? You would definitely know Melora. And who's my god? Probably Melora. Oh, nice. oh great. coming, coming home, home. Baby. What's, uh, Do I have a god? You would probably worship a dwarven god. Moradin is the creator dwarf guy. I think cool. as we're walking up what is to it this, is? Moradin. Moradin. Okay, so if we're going, if this is my god, yeah. I uh, take a finger full of mud and I make the shape of Melora on my forehead. Okay, the cool. Shape. It's like a wave uh, is her symbol. Okay, cool. Yeah, so I draw, so and I draw it on your forehead, too. <laughs> I just shut just my like eyes in frustration. <laughs> I, uh, so you see uh, Scoutmaster Denny bows, just his little halfling bow, just this stupid coward in a straw hat, <laughs> just bows in place of the temple, and goes, uh, as you requested, I will not follow you inside. Yeah, go get a good night's sleep. Okay, <laughs> good Good night, everyone. <laughs> if you don't come back tomorrow, I'll try to pay a hunter to find your bodies. Good night, sir. Good night. I hope he can't rest that well. <laughs> I hope he. I hope he has at least a hard time falling asleep. Scoutmaster <laughs> Danny still has like a skip in his step. As he, like, <laughs> you can tell he like totally falls asleep as soon as he hits the pillow. <laughs> I kind of hope you he... shouldn't know this as not the DM, but he does fall asleep as soon as he hits the pillow. <laughs> I kind of hope I kind of hope he just like leaves town and goes to another town and just starts like an after school program and does something else with his life. Oh, do you Denny, have any references? Uh, nope. <laughs> Denny definitely fails up. <laughs> Career-wise, He definitely yeah. also has a rich dad. He's definitely <laughs> a, like, 22-year-old junior Green Knight when he yeah. should be a hero by now. <laughs> he should definitely he be... He had so yeah. much gold to pay. To pay. <laughs> he did have a lot of gold. He's, he's a coward. He's a coward. I, just, I, I don't know uh, what else to yeah, say. Straight up. So you guys are now... So Denny, Denny with a skip and a step just skips away. Hmm. Uh and you guys are now standing in front of this uh, little temple of Melora. I, and there is, there's no door. It's just open. As he's leaving, I say, our dads are friends. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Bye. All right. Um, so as I go as I go in, I take my two blades of grass and I begin to play um, a song to Melora in Melora's honor. Oh, my God. Uh, uh-huh. Roll a performance check. <laughs> Hell yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> I believe I should have some kind of... I mean, I I'm proficient in my musical instrument. Are you? Though. Yeah. I have a tool proficiency in a musical instrument. Oh, sweet. So what do I add? So oh, I add like, my proficiency yeah, bonus. You, okay. your character. <laughs> Ooh, Ooh baby, 21. Oh, dude, she's 21. <laughs> freaks the house she plays, down. She plays this, she she pulls up two grass blades to her lips. And like, hey, what are you doing? And, and she's been a up... fucking nutcase at this point. She's got a possum on a leash just, just a- going absolutely moss. nuts. She just ate a handful of moss. She Rubbed starts dirt playing. On her hard one. Since you're, 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 you live with the dwarves, so they're not like as musical or sentimental. And you have... Halflings like enjoy I, a good. Oh tune. sure, I, I think that I would probably accompany her with my angelic boy voice. <laughs> oh, sure. So these these two just start singing a beautiful uh-huh. duet. Uh, he's singing about Pelora, and she's playing this beautiful. It sounds like a flute. And Malora, so nothing like that. Nothing like this. It sounds beautiful. It's yeah. one of the most probably the most beautiful song mm-hmm. you've ever heard. As Is you it guys affecting enter animals this. as we walk by? There are no animals out, <laughs> but for Papa. you can see there there are like flowers and stuff Purely in the call yeah no Papa. yeah Papa Papa calm down. Oh yeah, Papa calm down, and he like got. Up and he's furiously licking your face. This song, and it is really hard for you to play and maintain concentration because song Papa's is called... just going in on that cheek. Yeah, it's called Papa's Melody, Papa's Lullaby. <laughs> so you guys enter the temple, and as you step inside, you see moonlight shining from the top of like the domed roof. Whoa. There's like a circular window at the top that lets light shine down onto Can the floor I of the temple. Can I sparkle in moonlight? You can go step under the moonlight. Yeah, you and probably you, you, you would look pretty majestic. Yeah. Sure, it's bouncing off the yeah. shroom. Sure, yeah. Yeah. you're dewy. So the moon, the moon uh, light bounces off the shrooms, making moonshine just look radiant. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, so like, under Damn, she is really hot. <laughs> yeah, I... Hard one's like shit. If she took a shower, <laughs> Beverly is uncomfortable and washes his hands. <laughs> Beverly just goes to like a holy fountain and starts washing his hands like he's taking a bath. <laughs> he just takes a, a bath in a bird fountain. Penance. 
Uh, okay, so you guys see uh, that like under this window that's shining moonlight, there is like a garden on the floor of the temple Ooh. with like soft green grass and flowers. <gasps> oh, this there is are beautiful. wooden bookshelves along the walls and like various tables with like scrolls and potions. And then there's an altar below a hanging tapestry with the wave like symbol of Melora. Uh, and you see a white haired, ageless looking druid woman, like a like a, a yoga mom, I would cool. say. This is okay, my like a freaking yoga mom. dream to be white-haired and ageless. So she's white-haired and a- ageless, and she's uh, meditating in the moonlight. Right. right. Oh Even as God. you guys play this song and everything, she's just paying you is no mind. Is this just the I, moon juice woman? I have to be, yeah. <laughs> moon juice this is woman? The moon juice woman. Like <laughs> Emily knows what I'm LA talking about. moon juice, like <laughs> Gwyneth Paltrow. Yes, yeah, this, um, she, is, she is goop. This okay, so. <laughs> is that her name? No. Oh. Coming into this, I They told did, you that her name was Shay. You oh, yeah, yeah, Shay. yeah. Coming into this, I did not know Moonshine's sexuality, but Moonshine is is desperately attracted. <laughs> sure. Her ovaries are like, are like, she can feel them thrumming. throbbing against her stomach. Wow. Thrumming and throbbing. <laughs> Does that play into like your fertileness? Yeah, I, I like to imagine they're like cartoon. You're just like releasing eggs at looking at her. <laughs> they're just like cartoon maracas. <laughs> yeah. So you guys show up, and Moonshine is just everyone's just lustily looking at this druid woman uh-huh. who's meditating on the ground. As uh, everyone's as, just horny. Yeah, everyone's just standing there. Everyone's standing there, very Two horny. So in, we're already horny. Yeah. <laughs> Totally forgot. Yeah, about Moonshine. Why don't you go ahead and roll for horniness? See how okay. horny you are. Yeah. yeah. Eleven. Eleven. What do I add to that? Charisma? Uh, yeah. And I'm also proficient in it. Yeah. So. Oh, shit. Proficient uh, horny. Fifteen. That's a fifteen. Okay. That's she's pretty, pretty horny. horny. <laughs> okay. As Beverly takes a bath in the bird bath, uh-huh. <laughs> washing his hands um, <laughs> and my feet, and you see she's meditating, and without opening her eyes, she says, "I told you, kids, the jamboree was canceled. <laughs> We're here to save the jamboree." <laughs> Okay, okay. Actually, um, <clears throat> hi, Moonshine Sabin, a friend of the fungus, lover of DK. Um, I, we're actually here because we're going to save the youngins from the Bollywogs. Yeah, yeah. We're it's not, true. I'm not here for the We've been charged for the sacred quest to save my fellow green teens. You see, yeah. she's. Uh, just sort of like she a opens her eyes. Uh-huh. She's still sitting with her legs crossed, and she says. What do you mean they got taken by bullywogs? I told that little idiot not to take them anywhere near the bank. He took them very close to the bank so that he could teach them about the moonstone. Don't worry about him, though. He's fine. He, <laughs> <laughs> he, he ran away. Cut to, cut to <laughs> Scoutmaster Denny sleeping in one of the rooms above the hungry crowd in. With like with like a hot a hot milk next to his. He just like really enjoyed he himself. He definitely is oh, wearing he's a sleeping in the, dream. He's staying in the biggest room of the king bed because his dad's so rich. So feathery. He's wearing a, a, a nightcap. Absolutely. He's got a little like candle next to his bed that he's blowing out yeah <laughs> okay we so you- we have come here seeking healing and supplies for our journey to save the jamboree save the kids the youngins. Jam- We're here you for the youngins. The jamboree, the jamboree <laughs> will be saved. <laughs> you see, she turns <laughs> once again, just turns away from the other two and just looks right at hard one and hey. says. No, I was saying we're saving uh, the youngins. Okay. I'm on your side, girl. Right. Hi, fellow worshiper of Melora. She, I reach out my hand. She reluctantly takes your hand. I hold, I hold it until <laughs> I hold she... It too long. Too long. I hold it. She I gets start, some spores my on hand, her hand. My hand starts crawling up her oh wrist. Oh, my God. She I, uh, pulls back. I, th- I offer her some, like, hand tonic to clean. It's like a... It's the fantasy equivalent of, like, uh, sanitation gel. Sure. I hand her some of that to clean her hand. Do, like, a persuasion Ooh, check. Okay, I have a plus see six if, in persuasion. This, See if this woman like you. All right. Uh, 18 plus six. Oh, dope. Okay. Yeah. So she, I'm uh, hey, Murph. Give, Murph. Yeah. I'm a very good boy. Beverly <laughs> is a very good boy. Yeah. <laughs> so you see she uh, turns and you hand her you hand her some like hand sanitizer. I think it's like an aloe leaf. Okay. You mm-hmm. hand her an aloe leaf and she breaks and laughs, laughs and she tussles your hair and she says, child, I'm a druid of Melora. I don't need to wash my hands. I'm okay with it. Okay, I just, they look dirty. It's kind of gross. Okay. <laughs> now, uh, I... I'm rolling around in the mud <laughs> in the corner. <laughs> okay. I, oh, once again, she just turns, she just turns the hard one. <laughs> no, she turns the hard one in Beverly. The adult in the room. <laughs> rolling, rolling in the mud. <laughs> she says, I need to be here to protect the people of this town. 
especially with the barbarian, so I can't go with you into the swamp. But if there are children in trouble, I will help you as best I can. Awesome. And you see, she um, she heals you guys fully. She's a powerful enough druid. That, How does she uh, heal? Nice. Is it like distance or touch? Uh, you want Please. to be touched so bad. <laughs> she uh, she heals Beverly by touch. She heals Hardwood uh, by touch. And she heals you by distance. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oh, um, I think I might not be fully healed. Maybe you want to do one of those touch heals on me. <laughs> uh, Beverly does not like the touch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Okay. So she, she looks at you guys and she says, I can give you some things that will help you on your journey, but please be careful while you're out there. There's worse in that swamp than bullywugs. Like Shit. like what? Like what's worse than like two bullywugs? There are many bullywugs. Okay. There is uh, they they usually have a, a king of some sort, some type of shaman. Yeah. There what? are trolls in you the sound swamp. Nothing there like are... crick bullywugs. I, I don't know what the bullywugs are like in the crick, but out <laughs> About here knee they're high. <laughs> They're, they're taller knee than knee high here. Oh, okay. I'm knee high. You are knee high, little one. Huh. You're a very good boy. And she tussles your <laughs> head. knee high. They make a lot of noise at night. It's kind of annoying. Sure. Well, um, I'll give you these uh, to help you get across the bay quickly. Uh, and she hands you these three scrolls. These are scrolls of water walking. Ooh. They let you walk on water <gasps> for like Whoa. 20 minutes. She hands you guys scrolls of water walking, and she also gives you guys each a potion of healing. <gasps> oh, that's awesome. Right, that wow. down. So you guys are all healed up to full health. Um, can I? I would like to just take her aside. I'm not going to do anything creepy. Sure. I'm just saying, um, I, I come bearing the spore of the crick, and I'm trying to sort of spread it to spread our words, spread our message, spread our people. We're a hospitable people. I would love to plant just you know, a handful of spores in this beautiful garden. You're more than welcome to leave your mark. Thank you so much. Uh, I approach her with um, my, I have a little booklet that is labeled interfaith relationships. Uh, and I say, I'm, I'm working on my interfaith relationships uh, merit patch. Could you please sign this to say that I have uh, communed with a, a hostess of Melora? As a representative of Pelora, it is important for our two faiths to intermingle and work together. Absolutely. Yes. <laughs> I see. yes! And she sa- and she says, "Who should I make this out to? What's your name?" Uh, my name is Beverly. Beverly Togold the fifth. Beverly Togold the fifth. And she signs <laughs> your little book. Beverly, I have to sign that too as your scout master. Did you? Pl- yeah, everyone needs to sign this. <laughs> everyone, sign it, please. Oh, you're um, you're the scout master. You do know that it's canceled, right? The whole retreat. The, it's not coming back on. <laughs> yeah. Temporarily right. canceled. Yes. yes. It's permanently canceled. Uh huh. For, for now. Master. Yes, I expressly, I specifically told the, the scout master Denny, yeah, Denny that yeah. it was canceled. <laughs> He's a bad. Guy. For for the <laughs> time being, yes. Uh, when you hand it, when you hand it to Moonshine to sign, uh, <laughs> she looks really confused and tries to pretend like she knows how to write. <laughs> she kind of just scribbles with both hands. She just on makes the her mark. I, yeah, I, I feel like I like whisper to her like an X is fine. <laughs> <laughs> Um, okay, so she shows you guys out, and as you guys are leaving the temple, she looks at you guys and she says, "Good luck, may Melora bless you, you and Melora well. keep you as well." She nods. Thank you. Hey, everybody! It's Emily here to talk to you about aura frames. Mother's Day is coming up, and some of us are looking for a way to shower the maternal figures in our life with love. Well. Look no further. Aura frames are the digital picture frames that bring all your photos and videos together in one gorgeous, high resolution display. They're super easy to set up. They save you from the struggle of printing and framing your favorite photos, but most importantly, they help you stay connected with family that live far away. That's because you can kind of preload a bunch of pictures onto the frame, but you also get to keep adding pictures and you can invite the rest of your family to add pictures. The gifts you make mean the most. So this year, turn your family's past into the perfect Mother's Day present with a connected frame from Aura. Right now, Aura has a great deal for Mother's Day. Listeners can visit AuraFrames.com slash Papa to get up to $30 off on their best-selling frames. That's A-U-R-A frames.com slash P-A-W P-A-W. Plus, listeners can get free shipping with code P-A-W P-A-W at checkout. This deal ends on Mother's Day, May 14th, so don't wait. 
Terms and conditions apply. Goodbye, sweeties. Hey there, Nadpoles. This episode is brought to you by Rocket Money. Do you know how much your subscriptions really cost, folks? Well, most Americans think they spend around $80 a month on subscriptions, but the actual total is closer to around $200. Holy hell. If you don't know exactly how much you're spending every month, then you need Rocket Money. Rocket Money is a personal finance app that finds and cancels your unwanted subscriptions, monitors your spending, and helps you lower your bills all in one place. Over 80% of people have subscriptions that they forgot about, and chances are you're one of them. Like that Stars app just to watch that one show or that free gaming trial you never actually used. Well, Rocket Money will quickly and easily find your subscriptions for you. And for any you don't want to pay for anymore, just hit cancel and Rocket Money will cancel it for you. It's that easy. Rocket Money also helps you manage all your finances in one place and automatically categorizes your expenses so you can easily track your budget in real time and also get alerted if anything looks a little funky. Over 3 million people have used Rocket Money, saving the average person up to $720 a year. Wow. So stop throwing your money away, cancel unwanted subscriptions, and manage your expenses the easy way by going to Rocket rocketmoney.com slash pawpaw that is rocketmoney.com slash pawpaw one more time for you rocketmoney.com slash pawpaw thank you do you want one of these uh little mud spots i did no actually i do not okay (laughs) it's actually pretty soothing it's nice yeah Yeah, it's working well on my acne it's the love of melora (laughs) And <laughs> Beverly is covered in acne. <laughs> uh, you do have a lot of that. Uh-huh. Uh huh. So, should we head for the bay? Yes. Let's go to the bay. Hooray! Let's do it. Dope. So, you guys, you guys Beverly walk. tries to do the uh, linked arms. Yeah. Uh, I try to link arms with both of them and skip. I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> you guys walk through the village, and as you get down to the docks and the bay, as you approach the water, it gets brighter and brighter. You can see the water lighting up in like a bright, translucent white with a pale blue glow. And even from here, even from like 20, 30 feet away, you can see movement in the water of like the various fish swimming around. Uh, by the dock, you see that there are several, several like small fishing boats docked there. And sitting on the dock is a singular half orc barbarian with like a ponytail huh. and he looks Ooh. more like a shaman he's got like pelts and stuff and you see he's kind of meditating on the dock there we could try to charm this guy uh, <laughs> although if he's a shaman he probably has he's meditating right couldn't we just sneak All, you, past you, him? you see him just we got right now he has his anyway. back to you he's looking out at the water so you oh, okay. kind of uh, we have water walk though, bitches. Yeah, all right. Who so needs boats? That's just probably a, should like should we save it in, in, in case something happens? Murph, to him? just to paint a picture, he's at the end of like a long narrow dock. Is that what we're saying? Yes. Why don't we just like walk off the side of the dock and you go can, around him? You can literally do whatever you want. Uh, do you want to avoid him? Do you want to speak to him? What do you want to do? I feel like if he's a shaman and he's meditating, I feel like we could maybe. What if we just left a note at his? He does feet? have that the same. So well he does have the time. same ponytail of like the other barbarian dudes. Okay. So he's definitely with them. All right. From what okay. from what you can tell. Yeah. So we, should we try to sneak? Yeah, I think we should just try to sneak around, around him. Yeah. Should we try to give him a wedgie? No, Beverly. Okay. No, that was that was Caldwell talking. <laughs> Beverly, you're a good boy. Would so do you guys want to take the kind of long way around? Not the super long way. I'm thinking we just kind of like start from the beach and like tiptoe, uh, water tiptoe around this guy. Okay. And stealth. Mm-hmm. So you guys walk far away. Are you guys going to use the scrolls, or are you guys going to try to take a boat? Um, I vote. Bo- I vote boat, and then like, we got. We got I the think scrolls. that's a good idea. Because we got to put the kids in the boat. So oh, use the yeah. scrolls as a backup. Cool. Yeah. Uh, Murph, double checking the Explorer's Pack. Does it have a telescope in it? A little spyglass? I w- you can have a spyglass if you okay. like, sure. Oh my gosh, we should get a boat that looks like a fishing boat. So if he sees us, he thinks we're just late night fishing. Smart. Yeah, good, good, good. Okay. All right, so there are only kind of small fishing boats since since his village has kind of constantly been in peril. There's uh-huh. never been a time where they've had like big commercial fishing boats <laughs> or anything. Uh, but you guys can take like a small fishing yeah. boat. If yeah, you like. and we're going to set up the fishing, the fishing Lines. line so it looks like we're just a little like, trawler. Fishing. Okay, cool. So you guys kind of buy... Just like you uh, know how pretend you know how to write i pretend i know how to <laughs> set up a fishing so you guys you guys bypass this dock uh and kind of get away from this barbarian dude and you guys walk further and further down the bay does somebody want to give me a uh, search check yeah yeah 
Is Who's good a, at it? Is search a skill? Why do I keep telling you guys to do it? Search is perception? 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 Yeah, go okay. ahead and give me a perception check. All right. I got 18. 18. Great. That's great. Yeah, oh, we you're, able to, you're able to find a, you find a boat that has some we fishing some poles like tucked under uh -huh. the seats. What about some worms and some bait? You do not find that. They're, they're not just going to leave their worms in their boat. I <laughs> I leave a note and some gold. <laughs> In the boat that you're taking? No, in like the, the in the fishery. Oh, okay. To Got say it. like thank you for letting us borrow your equipment. He Great. signs his name for some reason and I cross uh -huh. it off. <laughs> you write it's a different name. Okay. Yeah. So Denny. you guys cool. Denny. Is this my nickname? So you guys take off on the boat. Uh-huh. You guys get out into the bay. As you are uh, riding across the bay, you can see all the fish swimming up and it is so easy to fish here that literally big yellowfin tuna and stuff are like just like jumping in your boat, <laughs> flapping at you and smacking you in the face. I and think I'm all just scooting the them out. I'm kicking them back no, 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 out. Wait, I feel like we should hold on to them. We could maybe use them to bargain with later on. Or eat. Or eat. <laughs> I think you guys can hold on to them. I'm probably just kicking them back out, being like, get, get. Yeah. Yeah. Pawpaw's just furiously eating a halibut. <laughs> tearing I'm, at one. Yeah. Pawpaw. I feel like I, um, how long a journey is this? Not not super long. Okay, so I wouldn't have time to like skin a fish and like be like it'd probably be like fifteen minutes. I could skin a fish in fifteen minutes. Okay, uh, we eat sushi. Yeah, I get I prepare sashimi for everyone. <laughs> great. All right, I'll Beverly have that. Beverly makes some What's really this? great sushi What's this half that everyone food? everyone gets super sick from. <laughs> <laughs> Roll for how many bones you swallow. <laughs> so you guys get to the other side of the bay and you find this abandoned, dilapidated dock. You see that the wood is soaked through with water damage. You see spots of green moss and fungi. A few jagged planks stick out across the walkway. Um, can I uh, can I collect some of that fungi? Sure, you go over and grab some fungi. Mm -hmm. Ooh, what kind is it? Let's see. Let's roll and see if it's poisonous. <laughs> <laughs> it is safe to eat. Well, I'm not going to eat, eat it. it. I'm just going to put it in the spore library. Oh, gotcha. It's like a blue cap So mushroom. this is like a little island? No. So it's a bay, so it kind of is like a sideways horseshoe into yeah. the land. So south of the bay mm -hmm. is the south side of the bay is a village, and north of it is the swamp. Okay. So it's this big expanding swamp. So gotcha. you guys standing on this dilapidated dock, facing out from the bay, you see this great expanding swamp, and you see the hanging leaves of like the mangrove grove trees Ooh. and the weeping willows make it like impossible for you to see through. You do notice though. At, like the edge of the swamp, you see a broken spear and a longsword stuck in the mud. Broken spear and hmm. a longsword stuck in the mud. Okay. Um, so presumably that's some sort of like warning to like stay away. Or an entrance. <laughs> uh, oh. Or there or they could be like people guarding that area and they just like went to take a pee or something. Can we do yeah. like a perception check or yeah, something? Go ahead, like go ahead and do like an investigation check. Murph, uh, while Emily's doing that, you guys um, can all roll for investigation. I got 18. Perfect. Oh, hell yeah. Uh, there was a fight here. There was clearly a fight here. I, got a, I were... got a four, so hard one looked yeah, around and didn't see shit. Hard one doesn't see <laughs> shit. Looks fine to me. Yeah, he still thinks that maybe somebody <laughs> left it as a mark that it's the entrance. Uh, um, there was definitely a struggle here. You see that somebody was I, dragged into the swamp. Gotcha. Do I see anyone like in the trees or anything like that? No. You do, do we not see hear. maybe any torn neckerchiefs or uh, mirrored badge sashes? You do not hear. But you know you do notice that when you pick up the longsword, you see that it is identical to your green teen longsword. Huh. Guys, this sword is identical to mine. What do you think that means, Beverly? <laughs> Hmm. Beverly thinks for a little too long about it. <laughs> a Someone full hasn't silent minute. <laughs> Someone hasn't gotten his critical thinking badge yet. I'm still working on that one. I think that okay. the law. I think that the green teens were here. Before we proceed, I want to ask: uh, When Shay healed us, yep. did that replenish our spell slots and whatnot? No. Okay. Cool. Great. Cool. Cool. It, good. 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 And good, it didn't good. do anything for my acne either. <laughs> I feel like it cleared it up a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking fresh faced. I'm looking good. All right. Hmm. I wonder if I could. I don't think there'd be magic on these bullywogs. I don't think I can like use this. Uh, I don't think I could detect an aura on the sword or anything like that. Although, no. could I detect the magic from uh, the other green teams? No. Okay. The, the the purpose of detect magic is to like see if something is magical. Like if you go to a door or something and it's sealed closed, you can see if there's a spell holding it closed. It's not to like track okay. someone. Okay, we're going in blind. 
Y'all, I think we got to stealth in because I'm getting goose pimples. This uh-huh. place. So you guys do see her Her investigation check was really good. You do see someone was was dragged in there, and you All do right. see that it is pretty easy to follow the tracks because it's it's super thick muck. Okay. Can we stealth in a boat? You're not in the boat. Yeah, we're, we're, oh, walking, wait, we're, we're, we're walking. walking through the muck now. Okay. Yeah, we're off the boat. Ooh, we're in the muck. Yeah, let's we're in let's, it. Let's follow um, the track nice and stealthy. Yeah. Yep. Sounds okay, good. you guys are you guys are stealthing? Everybody uh-huh. go so ahead everyone, and so we're, tell me in what order everyone's going. Is somebody like scouting ahead or is... Um, who has the best stealth? I, oh. I have nimbleness. It would probably be me. It would probably be you. It should yeah. say it, you have a Although stealth skill. Although you're also wearing heavy armor. Yeah, you're not going to be hmm. great at stealth. Uh, my stealth is plus two. Okay. Okay. I'm only plus I'm two. No one's good at stealth? It's under dex. It's, I'm plus four. Okay. Plus four. Okay, so oh, maybe okay, Marwan yeah. goes first. Okay. Then I'll go... And then we'll keep little. So are you guys following at yeah. enough of a distance that Hard One's going to kind of run into any trouble before anyone else is? Yeah, well, or are I, you guys close together? I feel like we should let Hard One be the scouting party. All right. So you're like so, 20 feet ahead. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Are you cool with that? Cool. So you're going to be Hard the. One fears you, you're going to kind of. Should. You're going to be the primary stealth role because you're the one that's kind of scouting ahead. So Hard One starts going after these checks. Oh. Fuck. <laughs> That's a that's a nine, huh? Ooh. That's yeah. That's that's not a. Uh, <laughs> oh, I should have. I should have. Wait, a swamp wouldn't count as woods, right? Mask of the Wild wouldn't have any effect here. Mask of the Wild. That's that, very cool. Yeah, that that counts. It as means in woods, woods, it's easier for me to hide. Sure. Oh yeah. shit. Oh yeah. I so I should have gone first. We'll know for the future. Yep. Okay. Okay. <laughs> but for now, hard one just I, is making loud sounds in the mud, walking. <laughs> you. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> She's like. <laughs> it's sucking up my boot. Uh-huh. Yeah. Hard one like s- sneaks forward two steps, then like steps on a bird. And it goes, <laughs> ah! So hard. As that would have happened to walk, anybody. Hard one, as you walk ahead. You turn just in time to see a spear being thrown at you, a spear <laughs> heading right towards you. And that is going to be a 17 to hit. Does that oh. hit you? What's your AC? 16. It does hit you. Damn it. Uh-oh. Sounds like we're about to hit that niche. Yeah. Our going down. You got hit for seven. Oh, boy. So you got hit uh, with a spear for seven. Uh, everybody go ahead and roll me initiative. All right. Okay. Actually, wait. There's two of them. Sorry, the other guy's gonna throw a spear at uh, Hard One in a surprise round. Oh, cool! Uh, and he's gonna hit two. I'm so sorry, Hard oh, One. Oh, dude, no! Oh. Another six. <laughs> wait, so that's twelve total? Twelve total. Oh boy. Okay, so everybody oh, roll. Hard. Everybody roll on this. Hard spirit. One just like collapses. <laughs> like, <laughs> like don't your... worry, guys. I got I this. Got... <laughs> <laughs> Instantly, Instantly hit my two spears. Two spears. <laughs> this is such a good turn from uh, Hard One in Episode One, where he was so confident and cool. I know. <laughs> uh, right after I got fully healed by the druid lady, too. <laughs> um, I got a ten. I got a eleven. What'd you get, Hard One? Eleven. But is that plus? Yes, what? plus your dex. Uh, four. Uh, f- Dope. So fifteen. Fifteen. Hard One, you get to respond. <laughs> So you 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 Hard turn and runs. you see these you see these you see these beady <laughs> dead sprint to wherever Denny is. <laughs> so you kind of you you can kind of sprint towards where you saw the spears being thrown, and there are two of these bullywugs, these little frogmen who are probably like four feet tall and yeah. kind of burly, kind of like this dwarves. Is bigger I, than a crick. This is bigger than a crick bullywog. I point to them and say, "Those are bullywugs." <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Beverly. <laughs> uh, so you can swing on him if you want, or you can do whatever you like. Yeah, I'm, I'm fucking pissed. Okay. <laughs> Great axe coming out straight for this dude's dome. Try to split him in half from the head. <laughs> and... Oh, yeah, you hit. Hell Fuck yeah. yeah. You hit. The dome Seven, crusher. 17. Oh, man. So nine. So you hit for 13 total? Yeah. You do fucking cut this dude down. <laughs> you just smash this fucking yeah. dog. The other one, like, fucking Big looks boy. so scared. Uh, that is Moonshine. You're up. Um, okay, I'd like to cast Entangle, like with the mangrove. Uh, there's only one. Oh, there's only and one, one left. The, and one is dead. So these guys are oh, not. This sweet. you know. This seems like a scouting party or, or some sort of a uh, exploratory vessel. I think Beverly would be correct in assuming that. I'm yeah. just gonna straight up try to hit him with my scimitar. Just keep cool. it simple. <laughs> Moonshine runs up. Uh, <laughs> that's a two that you rolled. That's gonna be a two. Um, but I am still gonna. Halo spore him for three because I'm oh, not. Oh, okay, you can I'm still not do that even when you. Entity, Got it. But okay, so you shoot some spores at this dude, and he looks. He does not like it. <laughs> he does not like it one bit. Does he sneeze? Uh, yes, he sneezes a little bit. He just a little. <laughs> uh, Beverly, you're up. Okay, hard one. What's your What's your HP? Uh, I'm at ten. Looks like half. Um, I'm going to kind of run up 
and latch onto his back. And I hate when he does this. Yeah. <laughs> you, it's never happened, but you know that you hate it. Uh, I'm going to use uh, touch hands. Uh, lay hands, you mean? Lay hands. Touch no, hands. Touch hands. <laughs> he's just going to touch him. <laughs> just wants to high five. Oh uh, yeah, I high God. five him. Great. And uh, and he's healed. I believe it's 10 health. I'm back. That's full. Healing he's for back. Uh-huh. Now it is the Blue turn. This little youngin is powerful. <laughs> he's going to take a swing at. They don't make youngins like you He's going to take a swing, from. another swing at Beverly. Or Wait, not Beverly, um, uh, hard one. I'll save that. Never mind. This dude. A uh, freaking dinked off your axe. You were able to swing it back around and block this dude. <laughs> hard, oh, hard one's back in control. He's back in shape. After He's getting dead. his ass kicked by some frogs. Uh-huh. Making uh, a lot of noise and get, taking two yeah. spears. Uh, hard I one, do remain on. on his back. Hell yeah. Swing it for the dude's throat. What is that, a 14 total? 14 to hit? That yeah. does not hit. Fuck me. This dude, you, you swing your axe, he blocks it. He has a shield. That takes us to Moonshine. Help me. All right, Moonshine's coming with her scimitar again. Do it up. That's going to be 18. Ooh. 18 hits. That's what's up. For Hitting him for three. Uh-huh. And uh, okay. then another, looks... another sporific kiss. This dude's fucked up. He's on death's door. So that's sick. <laughs> he looks pretty hurt. Uh, that's you, Beverly. From uh, Hard One's shoulders, I ready a javelin. Okay. So that's plus five to attack. Let me roll. You're just going to toss a javelin at him? Yeah. Okay. Actually, well, I already rolled it and it's an 18. Okay, yeah, <laughs> Might you as well. Yeah, so I throw that. Uh, is that going to be a hit? Yes, definitely. All right, that's going to be a D6 plus five. That's eight. Eight. Okay, mm-hmm. yeah, you oh, javelin plus, this dude. It's only plus three. It, uh, no. Oh, yeah, so it's a six. Okay, Sorry. So six. So still, this dude was almost dead. Uh-huh. You see he was like coughing from all the toxic sports. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just gets fucking javelin through the head. He sticks to the tree behind. Oh, him. that's okay, awesome. Is he dead? Oh. He's super dead. Okay. Um, Can cool. I search so we're... his body yeah, for any, any interesting fungi? Yes. We should do a search. His body. He definitely does not have any interesting fungi on him. Molds? But he has some uninteresting He does fungi. have, he's got like a little shield. He's got a little wooden shield. He's got his ah, got spear. And he also has a burlap sack. Ooh. Let me go through that sack. Yeah. You open up the burlap sack. Hoping it's mushrooms inside. And it is empty. Uh, can we empty? check the other one? The other guy also has a burlap sack. Okay. Why are empty. they empty? Trying That's to see, weird. Um, I just wanted to see if they had any like um, affiliation sigils or... Perhaps like a, a tattoo or any sort of like identifying marks that would uh, give us information about the larger clan. Ooh. Nope. Okay. They're just bodies. <laughs> they're just some frogs. They're, they're just, just frogs. frogs. Huh. I can't believe their burlap sacks were empty. What were they gonna put th- in there? You know, I I think that these might be good for uh, a jambalaya. <laughs> okay, if someone's going to talk about jambalaya, I'm going to make a bonfire and make this some... Let's Are you making a fire, fire right now? No, let's focus on the kids. Okay, that's good. No, you're right. The youngins. Uh-huh. The youngins. Oh, we need to do the youngins. Yeah, yeah, yeah. However, can I, uh, can I rip off one of their legs <laughs> so I can later make a uh, bullywog jambalaya? Yeah. Frog legs. Uh, Let me guess... sniff at it and see if I think it's like... Uh, they smell so rank. Oh, okay. <laughs> These guys are disgusting. Well, sure, I, uh, you got to cook them first. I tussle, I tussle Beverly's hair and I say, I don't think this is going to be the best job oh, darn days. I'll get that cooking merit patch yet not yeah. today you hang around with me you're gonna get a lot of patches <laughs> all right guys <laughs> <laughs> all right and let's focus up focus up okay, everyone let's okay get them young onward can't be that mad at Beverly because he healed me you travel through the muck uh you're pushing like the hanging leaves out of your face hard one in moonshine the mud is up past your ankles and Beverly you're like knee deep <laughs> uh-huh <laughs> Am I? Uh, can I ride on um, Hard One's yeah. back? <laughs> is, is that cool with Hard One? He hates it, but yes, he allows it. <laughs> yeah, okay, he allows uh, it. Oh, now you just you just uh, trailed muck up Hard One's <laughs> Thank back. Thank you, sir. <laughs> so you, you guys are following the tracks left by the Bullywugs. It's kind of easy. These guys are stupid, and right. they just like left these big oh, tracks in a straight can line. Can I go first? I've got Mask of Wild, so I'm using that to like lead the group to because it makes it easier to hide. Great. I'm in the woods. Cool. So yeah, you, as you guys are traveling. Moonshine's taking the lead. A uh, little bit more stealthy than Hard One was. Hard One is now <laughs> Can ca- I be is like, carrying Beverly. I'm like Catherine Zeta Jones in entrapment level, like stealthing. Okay, great. It's like unnecessary. <laughs> <laughs> just like getting down in the mud, just covered, <laughs> covered in freaking swamp water. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys are able to follow these stupid bullywogs tracks because they were pretty careless as they uh, went through the mud. 
Um, but then suddenly things get a little bit more difficult. It looked like they were all walking in a straight line, but now you see that the path kind of di diverges. You see to the north a giant puddle, like a big puddle, followed by like a six-foot wall of mud and a the tangled roots of like a mangrove tree hanging out of it. Uh, and you see broken roots and like little froggy footprints on the side of it. So you can see that some of them clearly like climbed the mangrove tree. And you see to the right a path in the mud where it seems like something big was dragged. Hmm. Um. What? Tell me about this puddle. <laughs> what are you doing to the puddle? Um, Let me I, at that puddle. I I would like to get to the edge of the puddle and just like look in. Cool. Um, and just try and sense depth or what it's made of or anything like that. Sure. It's it's pretty murky. You're not going to be able to tell how deep it is by looking at it, but you could stick your foot in or you could put your hand in or something like that. I'm going to stick my staff in. Oh. You stick your staff in. It is it is not that deep. Okay. It's okay. like two or three feet deep. I want to inspect the like dragging uh, sure. trail to see if I can discern what was dragged. Go ahead. Give okay. me an, an investigation check. Okay. Let's say nine plus two, 11. Cool, 11. So you don't see any like frog footprints uh -huh. or anything going this way. You just see whatever was being dragged was so big that it's sort of cleaned up behind it. And it's just this one kind of mass that's getting dragged. Sounds so like, a big, like a big burlap sack full of kids to me. I think so. <laughs> or a sled or something. Uh, just yeah, okay. So I a can't. A sled is very optimistic. <laughs> <laughs> Bullywog just captured them for a sleigh ride. So I can't tell if it was a creature or if like it was a sack. I, I just know that something big was dragged this way. That's what you get with a ten. Oh. Fair enough. Okay, hmm. I guess maybe we follow this. Yeah, we right? follow. Yeah, follow let's follow it. Okay, so you guys start or going. Wait, what was that wall that they climbed up? There was so there was to, like a muddy wall heading straight mangrove. ahead. There was to the north. You saw that it was like the mangrove tree that was hanging off that six foot wall with frog footprints going up up it, like they climbed it. And then something big was going to the right. Oh, okay. maybe I could. Maybe, I'm a good climber. I could, I could also climb. turn into a giant lizard, in which oh. case I could climb as well. That's true too. We should follow the track, but I do want to see Emily turn into a giant lizard. We just have to see what's over the wall. We yeah. Don't have to, so yeah. Want to, oh, well, it. then maybe we won't use if if we just need to see what's over the wall. Maybe we just use your climbing. Yeah. Ability. Do you want to check what's over the wall before we proceed? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Cool. Watch this. <laughs> Go ahead. Give me a, give me a climb check. Am I still on his back? Oh, no. <laughs> he just rolled it too. I was still on is his back. Just, is he just grabbing onto roots and then you guys? Because I have a, I got a plus something there. Oh, that's a six, I think. <laughs> that's brother. a six. So hard one, very confidently leaps over the puddle, grabs onto the mangrove tree. A branch instantly breaks off, and he falls back into the puddle, soaking himself and Beverly. I uh, I offer him. Go ahead and give me both of you guys. Give me a perception check. Actually, all three of you, give me a perception check okay. as you splash into the little puddle. Of course. I got a seventeen. Uh, I got an eleven plus. Yeah, just a straight up eleven. <laughs> okay. Why can't I find it? Oh, wait, uh, 19. 19, okay. Yeah. You, as you splash down in the puddle with hard one, right. uh, you see in the mud a patch, a cooking batch. <gasps> Ooh. Oh, and I'm That's so juicy. tempted by this because I don't have that patch. <laughs> and like my first thought, my first immoral thought is just to affix it to my sash and claim <laughs> it as my own. But I, I think better of it and say, I see friends, it. I see this because we had just talked about it, uh -huh. and I and I put a hand on Beverly's shoulder and I say, uh -huh. "You're better than this, young <laughs> You're right, friends. <laughs> the green teens have been this way. This patch, this could have been Erlen, Cran, or Derman. One of the three. <laughs> They're the only three in our troop that have this patch. So it was just in the puddle, right? We still don't know if it if it went if it was uh, lost so being dragged how, or climbed. How desperate are we to see over this it wall? Was closer, or we it was closer. It was much closer to the wall than it is to the track to the east. Um, oh, so, so we gotta maybe, get up and over I, this shit. Okay, so if I turn into a giant lizard, can I shuttle them over? It's not a hard climb. He just rolled a two. <laughs> uh, you don't need to turn. And maybe into a I'm gonna try to do it without even turning. Yeah, go ahead. Into, yeah. without even. Everybody, just shaving. give me climb checks. 
Watch this. Just beat, gonna be, just beat a 10. Is that acrobatics? We had got athletics. It. Uh, it's athletics. Okay. 15. You got it. You. Yeah. I looked out at hard one from the top and I got I just a shake my cool. head. Okay. <laughs> Moonshine, I Moonshine out hand gets up like... there easily. Hard one follows up, uh, head hanging down. <laughs> dejected. And Beverly follows up easily yep. behind hard one. The only one who did not get up on his first try was hard one <laughs> short foot. Let it be known. This. Let short it be known foot. that short foot is the one who fell. <laughs> <laughs> it's so fucking true. Hard one. About the trick is to guy. take it slowly and steadily. So as you guys uh, climb up, uh, you're able to pick up the tracks again. The bullywogs were clearly here, huh. uh, and you continue to follow for a bit. What what order are you guys walking in? How are you guys proceeding? Me first. Still yeah. Then. Okay. Last. And then we're hanging Act back. Wild. So you guys are walking forward, following the tracks, and the muck is getting deeper and deeper. Hmm. Oh, shit. Huh. Um, well, I'm I'm back on I'm back on hard one shoulders. <laughs> okay, you're back on hard one shoulders. So you guys, <laughs> you're like that's that's why it affected my climbing because uh-huh. you actually like kind of hurt my shoulder before. So that was like I've got climb. my my spyglass out and I'm I'm uh, patrolling the area. Okay, spyglass, go ahead and give me a perception check. Okay, that's a three. <laughs> Can I? He's holding the glass my the spy wrong glass way. is very muddy. Can I do a knowledge nature about this rising muck? If I'm like, yeah, if sure. I know how the, why the terrain is changing. Sure. Twenty. Whoa, 20. damn! You're gonna know everything. You <laughs> see. <laughs> he gives us a twenty minute lesson about <laughs> swamp biology. You so you see, muck. as you're as you're walking through this mud, you see ahead of you this pool of muddy water and the tracks stop you think that that might be like quicksand oh okay Okay. but you do see tracks you see tracks up on like a hill ahead without burning my is there a way to get around that can we skirt that pool you could take the long way around but you'll need to do some nature checks and stuff to see if you can keep tracking the bullywugs can we check i want to like investigate can um... i can i uh how big is it it's about tw- it's twenty feet across. Okay, can oh. I then cast shape water on it and freeze it? I have a. 30, oh. it says thirty feet. Yeah. Do we um? Would we know if this was like magical quicksand or if it's just normal? You could quicksand. try to detect magic on it. If I you don't like. know if I want to burn detect magic on this. Got to be honest, puddle. it wouldn't be a great use. Oh, okay. Okay, but it does say it's you can freeze. Quicksand. You can freeze the water provided there are no creatures in it. Are hmm. there creatures in it? Well, D- should we yell at the puddle? <laughs> can I stick my staff in and see if there's? Are there you any? S- you anyone stick your in there? staff into the muddy water. You do not immediately feel uh, hmm. anything. Okay. Okay. Then I guess I'm gonna cast shape water. Yeah. It's a, only a cantrip, so I'm gonna cast shape water and try and freeze it. So moonshine summons the elements, and you see wow. frost Malora. coming. Oh, Melora, Melora. <laughs> frost coming off of her hands as uh, she shoots like I a play ray. My washboard. Sure. To summon. <laughs> you play. She she strums her washboard. <laughs> In a beautiful icy tune. Shamanic. You see the muddy water freeze, and then a giant fucking snake burst out of it. Oh, and everybody shit. roll initiative. Oh, shit. <laughs> fucking snake. Melora fucker. Not a magic snake, though. That's gonna be a 20. Good lord, I rolled a one. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh you gotta goodness. get. You gotta swap out for some new dice. Uh, I got a. I got a twelve. Okay. <laughs> Fucking garbage, man. What'd you get? What'd you get, Moonshine? Oh, What'd I got get? twenty. Okay. Ah, Moonshine. I got you, twenty. You go first. Okay. I would like to cast Thunder Wave. Okay. Go ahead. Damn. Um, he does a Constitution saving throw. Okay. Or he takes two d8 damage and is pushed fi- ten feet. Okay. He got a nine. That's probably not going to do it. Nope. Okay. I'm a, okay. Uh, 2d8 damage. So how much 2d8 damage? Yeah. Go ahead and roll. One. Eight. So nine So plus... nine, and then he gets pushed 10 feet. Okay. And then I'm also gonna <laughs> spore him. Spore his ass, dude. <laughs> you shock him, you Got spore him. Three more. Cool. 12, bitch. Uh, how big is this thing? Uh, he's probably like 15 feet long. Okay. He's oh, a big ass. How snake. wide? Talk to me about um, girth. He's That's what's thick. <laughs> he's thick as fuck. <laughs> It's, it's too thick, honestly. He's, He's like as veiny? thick as your neck like all veiny? around it. 
<laughs> That's big. Uh, that is going to be you, Bev. Okay. Um, do I know anything about like this species of snake or any details in particular? Uh, you can roll me a nature check. All right, cool. Nature check. That's a one. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know shit. <laughs> you did not get your snake badge. That lizard is missing its legs. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, so I will say yeah. you, you can... You can kind of do like you guys have kind of already figured out that you guys might sink if you go in this mud. So right. if you run in to slash it. this dude, you did not freeze it. The it does not work when there's an animal in there. Oh, okay. Yeah, so there was a creature. But in I there. pushed him ten feet. Did that push him out of the water? No, he's back in the yeah. uh okay. It's twenty feet long. You can prepare an action that uh-huh. when he snaps at you guys that you swing at him. Though. I got you. You can do that. I think I'm going to uh, I'm gonna use it, I'm gonna throw a javelin. I'm gonna uh launch a javelin from uh hard one shoulders again. Cool. Nice. Cool, go ahead and throw it. Okay. That's a ugh. that's a six um, plus five, so uh, eleven. Eleven, yeah. You throw the javelin, it misses the snake, lands in the mud, and you just see it sink. That's no! it, it's gone. <laughs> um, and as a bonus action, I'm gonna cast a uh, shield of faith. So a shimmering field appears and surrounds a creature of your choice within range, granting it a plus two bonus to AC for the duration. Uh, hard one. That's gonna be you. What do I do? You get plus two AC. So you're at That's... 18 armor class for now. Cool. Ooh, awesome. Yeah. That Gracias, is going dude. to be the snake's turn. He is going to snap forward at Beverly, who just <laughs> threw the javelin at him. And he rolls a fucking one. So he he just <laughs> yeah. like fucking face plants Wait. as Beverly who scoots out of the way. Does he does his like little tongue flick my face? <laughs> sure. Yeah, <laughs> <That's> absolutely. <nice. laughs> In fact, you just like it. He just huh. gives you a nice little lick and you think he's being friendly. Give me a little snake kiss. <laughs> that takes us to hard one. What happens is I rolled that one. Do I? You, you were last. You're last. Oh, I so see. N- now you just go. Great. Twelve plus four. What is it? Sixteen. Yes. To hit. Oh no no no! You got a uh, eighteen to hit. So yeah, you hit. Nice. Go ahead and roll your damage. Whoa! That's a twelve, hey, bitch. Twelve, baby. Whoa. Twelve plus four, so sixteen damage. Damn. Yeah, you fucking slash at this dude, and uh, Can I do something with my two little axes. No. Oh. Okay. Unless, uh, well, you can. I mean, you could have made your attack with your throwing axes. They do less damage. Fuck it. Never mind. Nah, nah, you can like twirl them. You can twirl them if you'd like to just do something for show. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's okay. What I'm so you <laughs> slash him with your big axe. He rears back and screeches, and you just twirl your axes. I'm like, not gonna be. Drumsticks. I'm not gonna be satisfied until we sever off this snake. Cool. Yeah. Uh, that takes us back to Moonshine. Okay, I will now use my cantrip chill touch. <laughs> and, uh, there's nothing chill about what's going to happen. <laughs> um, I'm going to make a ranged spell attack. Kay. Hope it hits. It's going to be 21. That super hits. And now he takes 1d8 necrotic damage. He's not undead, is he? He's not undead. He's just a snake. All right, well, uh, uh, he takes three he damage. He takes a big three damage. But may I just say, may I just say, a ghastly skeletal hand came out and grabbed him. Oh, he's spooked. <laughs> yeah. He's super spooked. <laughs> also, he did not like it. the hand clings to the target until the next turn. So, they, so it's clinging to him. So a ghastly skeletal hand just kind of lightly slaps him? Yep. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> just gives him a wet willy. <laughs> an icy willy. Stop. That takes us to Bev. Come on, Bev. Okay, I feel like I'm just going to... You're our only hope. <sighs> Beverly. Okay, uh, I guess I'm just gonna try and slash at the snake. I'm cool. out of spells. <laughs> slash yeah. him. Let me slash at that snake. Take a swing. All right. Take a swing, baby. I'm aiming for his gully. Cool. 16. Uh, That's gonna hit automatically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. Yeah. All right, yeah, cool. Roll your D8. D8. That's a seven plus uh, five. So it's whale. He screeches. He's pissed. I did it. He sticks his tongue out at you. Guys, I made the snake mad. <laughs> <laughs> that is, oh boy, that's the snake. Uh-huh. Snake time. He's going to try to bite at, actually, he'll probably try to bite at a hard one because you're on his back. So he's not just going to go for Beverly. <laughs> our plan is backfiring. Uh, our, that is... our tower of power is uh, <laughs> drawing unwanted attention. <laughs> that's an 18 to hit. And I believe that's your armor class. So that is going to hit. Wait. Oh yeah. Shit. Even with a plus two. Yes. So he swings down and attempts to grab hard one. Good oh, fucking luck. Oy, oy. <laughs> and he does seven. He does 13 damage to hard one. Wow. Oh. <laughs> and uh, the target is grappled. So you are Great. restrained. So he okay. has wrapped himself around hard one. Good, 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 good. Now, well, not good for hard one, but. Now it is hard one's turn. Hard one, you can. You cannot make an attack this round. You can just try to get out of being constricted by this giant snake. Cool. <laughs> Flexing every fucking muscle in my body. 
<laughs> you rolled a one. <laughs> hard one. Hard like one. Every two. time I fail, I say I feel watch like this. <laughs> hard one. Watch this. Murph, can you roll to see how much hard one shits himself? Wait, was that the right dice? Yeah, you rolled a one. Oh, uh, I was looking at different. Yeah. yeah. He yells, watch this. And then just <laughs> meekly goes, oh. <"Ugh." laughs> <laughs> and you hear a little a little fart let out as <laughs> he tries to get out. Uh, that's you, Moonshine. Okay. <laughs> um, I'm just gonna make an attack. That's oh. that's all I can do. What are you, what's your hit points at? Um, I'm at nine. But I have I have the I have that potion that I could. Okay. Oh, you have a potion. I'm gonna have, hold up. Have, I uh, do have. A, I'm saving a first level cure wounds for you, but I don't know if I'm gonna use it quite yet. Appreciate. It. Uh, Save everything you have for me. I'm, need it all. I'm trying to get rid of this, so I'm gonna try to decapitate him with my scimitar. Sure, go Very ahead. good. Fourteen. That hits. Six. Cool. And then he looks. He looks pretty. Three more up. spores. Oh wow. Okay. He's pretty fucked up. Yeah. Back to bed. Snake is upset. It is Bev's turn. All right. But so I, di- I didn't decapitate. Am I also him. constricted, or am I like kind of? I, I imagine you're, I'm. You're out. You were able to jump off hard one. So as this what? Came in. What I'm going to do is I'm going to draw uh, my sword and I'm going to run along the spine of the snake, uh, kind of spiral up uh, along the constriction. Okay. Aladdin style. A hundred percent Aladdin <gasps> style. And I guess I'm just going to try and um, and stab the snake cool. wherever I can get a, a stab in. Yeah, go ahead. Roll for Aladdin style. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I scream, Opa, Aladdin style, and nobody gets it or laughs. All right. <laughs> I am hard, hard one about farts to die. again. Oh, no. <laughs> what you get? It's a four. Um, what's my shit? Uh, it's plus strength, so it's a nine. Nine. But, okay. Yeah. <laughs> you run up and just slip off. <laughs> Hard one just knows that Beverly no! could have saved him if he had just swung his goddamn sword. But I... instead he ran up and he yelled Opa Aladdin style, ran up and slipped off after you just farted and shit yourself a little bit. I definitely fart as well, but not as much. I do a lighter fart. Moonshine is just like, oh my god, try to keep Boys. up, you fucking idiots. Okay, so this uh... Do I fall into the into this quicksand? No, 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 you're okay. okay. It, that was just for He's flavor. Beached. That was uh-huh. just for He's flavor. Beached. Okay, this dude is going I to drowned. just fucking squeeze a uh, oh, hard one again. No. Okay, he doesn't manage to, like, he's nice. squeezing and you're fucking flexing your <laughs> muscles so hard. This is a contest So hard that you fight back. Uh, that is going to be Moonshine again. Okay, uh, Moonshine's going to attempt to decapitate him again. <laughs> oh, everyone's trying to decapitate I, I'm gonna him. Walk. Get a snake head. Get a snake head. I'm going to look in the snake's eyes and be like, you know what we do with snakes down at the crick? We turn them into stew. And then she raises her scimitar and... <laughs> She a three. A lot of threes. Damn. You guys have missed so many times. And she and she <laughs> loses her grip of her scimitar. She raises it over her head and doesn't do anything. Oh, I forgot. Uh, oh, we... but then I do blow spores. I oh, still you blow, blow spores. spores. Okay. Three uh, more damage. This, this dude's actually looking real fucked up. All right. Uh, hard one. You get to try to get out. You can oh, roll yeah. another uh, strength check. Watch this. <laughs> 17. 17. All right. Woo! Burst out of the snake. <laughs> Boom, baby. Hard one escapes. <laughs> Uh, that's Bev. Huh. I guess I'll... I will also try... You know what? I'm not gonna try to decapitate it. I'm just gonna... Just try and get as close to the snake as I can and swipe. I do want to cut it in half. Okay. Dope. You guys are getting fancy for... (laughs) Alright. People know, are getting real all fucked up. It's all just for flavor. It doesn't matter. It's just really funny. Yeah, to just yeah. be like, I'm going to cut it in half while like, yeah. Hard One's like dead. <laughs> <laughs> hard One's just like, my arm is broken. Uh, I scream... This is for the green teens. It's a six. <laughs> Plus five, we so need to 11. Stop. 11. Yeah. Uh, does that hit? That does not hit. All right. Damn. You just stop barely missed the snake. fancy declaration. Yeah, we keep aiming for the bleachers, and it's not working uh, for us. The snake uh, is going to try to bite hard one now that he got out. <laughs> oh, God, he hits. <gasps> one. How many HP does hard one have? Hard one, you take 13 damage. Does that mean I'm dead? You're knocked out. Oh shit! Wow. Hard one goes oh, down in the mud. Shit. Can we like administer a potion to him? Uh, yes, I can also turn, heal sure. him. Okay, but kind of, I kind of want to. Just feel kill like the this snake. Kill me afterwards. Snake is close to death. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, moonshine. All right. I say, once again, you know what we do with snakes down at the creek? <laughs> we chase them out of our buckets. Every- that we go toilet in. Okay. Moonshine. Snakes don't have ears. 
<laughs> he can't hear you. But maybe he can read my lips. <laughs> and then I hit him for 17. That hits, that hits. Yes, okay. bitch. Let's fucking kill and him. And then I go two it's plus two, four. Four. Okay. Then right. I close bores. Okay. Three more. He's he's super super. He's hurt. not dead he's yet. He's not dead yet, but he's super. Can you hurt. just constantly blow spores? Yeah. She That's gets two great. every turn. Oh man. Um, it's my reaction. Back to hard one. Really okay. Hard one's, hard one's down. All right. Dude. Um. I'm just like. Although you will have this... to roll death saving throws to see no, how I'm gonna... you're like recover. Oh, I'm just shit. like in this snake's face, blowing <laughs> spores at him while he like is surrounding. Moonshine's hard got one. the snake. I'm gonna run over to hard one and cradle his enormous head in my hands. And uh, I guess try to administer this potion to him. Cool. 2d4 plus 2 HP to D4. to our friend, okay. hard one. Four. Four. Right. Oh, and so keep she rolling. gave us really good potions. Four. Six, six plus six. two. Eight. Okay. So you, you come back, back to life up. with eight HP. Yeah, right. Maybe I'll do my uh, health potion on myself now. Uh, it is not your turn. Of course. It is the snake's turn. And I say, snake's... can you stand? The snake just bites hard one. <laughs> what? Why did yeah, you wake I mean, me up for this? <laughs> feels like he's like got something uh, for he you. He actually misses hard one. Uh, hard, right. one. Yeah. hard one. Uh, pops back up to life. Instantly combat rolls out of the way <laughs> after yelling, watch this. Uh, now it is hard one's turn. Great. Right, sweet. Dope. Oh, That's gonna hit. Yeah. 14. 14 damage. You do 12 damage. Two, uh, okay. Okay. Tell me how you kill this thing. Because it is dead. Hell yeah. yeah. Oh, my what goodness. <laughs> Hard one. What a glory hog. <laughs> the slow stride. The slow stride comes back. Great axe over the head. And I go straight between his eyes. And I say, what was it? Opa snake style? <laughs> Opa Aladdin style. Opa Aladdin style. <laughs> Opa Aladdin style. Hard one doesn't even know what it means. He just thinks it sounded cool. <laughs> so I have to tattoo that. On the yeah. <laughs> do do he split that snake? Oh, he splits that snake yes. right in half. Skull. Aladdin oh. style, whatever the fuck that means. Moonshine immediately goes over <laughs> and starts skinning some of the scales off so she can make a cute bandana. Right? So as you guys, we're going to end the session with uh, Opa Aladdin style. Everyone covered in muck and snake guts as Moonshine just starts digging into this giant snake. Uh, I would like Another to... Where your jambalaya. That's, don't you yeah. have a bollywog leg? Ooh. Now you get a snake's head? Yeah, yummy, can I sniff yummy. it? Would this make a good jambalaya? A little snake meat? Oh my God. No, they're all swamp creatures. It would make terrible jambalaya. Well, yeah, a little spice to it. Okay, okay, roll to see. Okay, here, I'll roll to see if this could be a good jambalaya. I'll all tell right, you what. Right, right. If it's higher than a 15, it'll be delicious. <laughs> <laughs> it's a nine. It's a nine. It's, it's fine. Be, it's it's edible. It's possible. The jambalaya is possible. It's going to be okay. Okay, we're making a jambalaya. Yeah, okay. You guys are going to make a jambalaya. Soup is on. Jambalaya. Uh, right. I would like to take uh, maybe one of the snake's teeth. Sure. Yeah. You, you can write down all right, snake cool. tooth. Yeah. Um, can I go snake through fang? its guts and see if it was pregnant? <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! We should go through its guts and see if it ate any of. Oh yeah, that's a good oh. point. Are there any lumps? You in go it? through its guts and it does not have any halfling children in it. No. Oh Sweet. thank God. What about its own children? It did not eat its own snakes. No. Was it? Yeah. Was it a male or a female <laughs> oh, right. snake? A snake would have been yeah, pregnant. Did it have like a giant snake? Pussy? It had a huge snake pussy. <laughs> 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 I just I marked that down. <laughs> Great. Cool. Is its clit fork? Yeah, you have is a, its clitoris fork? Yes. Like yep. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly what it is. It's a giant fork <laughs> snake pussy. Go ahead and mark down snake pussy. You guys have a snake pussy? I'm just taking the fork clip. Yeah, great. I think by that's identifying disgusting. the snake pussy, just I do right get my. Pot. I do get my snake whoever, identification badge. Whoever right. gets the fork clitoris in their bowls, good luck for a year. Oh my god. Oh god, I have it. <laughs> Okay, guys, please rate the podcast because this is gold. <laughs> Let's be honest. Give us a give us that good rating. Uh, follow us on Twitter at Jake Hurwitz, at Caldy, at E. Axford, and at C. H. Murph. Yeah, that's Anything you. Anything else, guys? Um, oh, uh, if you want to send uh, a shit for this or a bit book club, you can do it at 1920 Hillhurst Avenue, number 222, Los Feliz, California, 90027. Yeah, yeah baby. Yeah. Anybody got anything else to plug? Watch or listen to If I Were You, rather? If I Were You. Listen yeah, to If I Were Netflix You with Jake and Amir. Fall. Watch is Netflix <laughs> is the fall. We all really like it. Yeah. It's good. Crown's good, too. Watch Drawfee yeah. on YouTube. And buy Bye me an 
Emily's book. book. Buy, Buy our, our book. book. Buy my it's book. Just <laughs> it's called Hey You Up, How to Turn Your Booty Call into Your Emergen- Emergency Contact, a satirical relationship advice book coming out February 13th. So please check that out. And we'll catch you guys next time. May the Baba Yaga not take you this night, and may Bahamut keep you. Farewell. Peace. That was a HeadGum Podcast.